Well, you know, okay. I was born in a blueberry. In a box of blueberries. I was born in an insulated environment. And it was artificially insulated. Incubate these people by these bankers, by like Rockefeller and Rothschild, Evelyn Rothschild, J.D. Rockefeller. There are people still, David Rockefeller right now is perpetrating it. They kind of came together with their steel and their oil and their gunpowder, their powder and their uh, electricity. And they uh, built a society with a bunch of money, basically. They, they took a great society, arguably one of the greatest societies in the world at the time, and stamped their logo on it. And they've, they took control of the, the hospitals and the schools, as far as I know. We don't even know how deep the schooling goes with like the, the globalization plan with their fiat currency. I mean, they taught me about money in like kindergarten. I remember popping out those paper, out of those perforated paper, like pennies and nickels and stuff and like playing with it very young. Like around the same time, I counted four. Uh, no, it was way after that. But so then, you know, I'm like living my life, like oh, da, da, yeah, having fun, you know, just you know, doing whatever, and like along comes the internet. More or less, like I heard of Georgia near Russia back in the day, but like along comes the internet and all of a sudden I'm watching videos of Israel bombing Syria. Like, this is the world we live in. Yeah, you have your room and your locks on your doors, which can be broken. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm not happy with a warlike society. Competitive? Why? Because there's only one piece of meat? I mean, if there's one apple tree and the people compete too much, they eat all the apples. And they eat all the seeds. Well, the tree doesn't care. The tree doesn't care. The tree just wants the apples to be eaten because that means the seeds are ingested and shit out somewhere else. So the more trees will get built. The tree doesn't care. The tree's cool either way. Compete or don't compete. The tree just wants its food to get eaten. But as people, we have a responsibility to not destroy each other and the tree. We keep the tree alive. I mean, good God. Each other, I guess, is synonymous with the tree, right? We're just a bunch of fucking walking trees anyway. Um, that's all. Have fun, play sports, get drunk. These are all things I do, but also, Maybe there isn't a but also here. Maybe it's the whole get drunk, that's what I do, so it's okay mentality is fucking things up. Maybe the, I mean, playing sports, building, you know, it's a very competitive. It's very competitive. That's the thing about it. It's very competitive. Not all sports are competitive. Golfing, I mean, you compete against yourself. You know, making yourself better by training with another person is totally awesome. So, yeah, competition, healthy, friendly competition. But then you're talking morals and, like, where does it become healthy, friendly, you know, what's the border there? If that guy gets a little less, that guy gets a lot less, when does it stop becoming friendly? You know, no one likes to lose necessarily, but maybe, I mean, some people maybe, but most people don't like to lose. But if you're really going to lose something, 
when does it not become friendly? And I mean, you know, it, what if you take away their opportunity, you know, by saying something, by, by stifling them? That's taking away their opportunity, something potential is like almost like taking literally something away. Potential, it's all energy, right? You're taking either kinetic or potential energy away from them. It's not all energy, but a prophet might have you believe. Science would tell you. It's not all energy. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know, I'm not a big fan of sitting down, and I'm not a big fan of fucking holding a camera. And I got a tripod, you know. I'm not a big fan of plugging in the fit cam and transferring it and then reformatting it to a file I can read so I can edit it. It's like... But I can't fire myself up when I'm sitting down. I mean, it's, it's, it's really false. How am I supposed to make you think I'm fucking angry if I'm just sitting here? Doesn't, you know. Um, I was like battling with my own thoughts just now. I thought testicular, cancer, tumor, life, love, or something like that. I've noticed when I try to stifle a thought that I'm afraid of, that other thoughts come up that are fearful. Why, you know, don't fear your own thoughts. I mean, maybe fear that guy walking towards you that's hunched over in the dark a little bit. Like, be ready to jump on him, but don't fear yourself. 